Hey, I'm Batman. Huh? No, I'm just kidding. I'm here to show you how you can play uh, Dota 2 on a low-end PC. Let me show you what is low-end PC. Just a second. Um. Oh my god! It's just dual core CPU and 4 gigabits RAM. It's just a basic computer that you can afford. Um, you can play Dota 2 on this computer with a good FPS uh, if you want. With my suggestions app. Let's start. Just close this. By the way, this video and the items that i use in this video is not sponsored by anyone and anybody and everything i use in this video is based on my experience let's jump on guys the first thing you have to do is um, decreasing the steam usage to lowest value let me show how to do it just come and click to Steam shortcut, go to properties, uh, go to uh, shortcut, and here you have to add some code uh, to target. You just come here and place a space here, type backslash no backslash browser, and Click OK. The next step that you have to do is changing the uh, setting of Steam. It's not too important, but I will say to you. Just come to Steam, open up settings, come to interface, just um, turn off this shit, man. You don't need it. Come to library. Turn on the low performance mode to get more performance. Come to in game and disable the overlay while in game and the big picture overlay. That's it. Now to boost your performance, you have to apply some launch option to your game. Come to Dota, open up Manage, come to Properties, and here we go. This code that you can copy from description gonna help you to get more performance in game. Just paste this shit in launch option. Now we can just close this team. We don't need it. To have more FPS in game, you have to get access to the advanced graphics setting. First of all, you need the NVIDIA Profile Inspector that you can just download it from the description. We open up this. Here we have some advanced settings that we can change, but just two things is important. You come to Profiles, search for Dota. Click it and scroll down to reach texture filtering LOD BIOS. Here you have to double click, just type 0x60 and the value you want. For example, the 99 is the maximum value that you can enter. You have to know. The more value that you enter gives you more FPS and contains shitty graphic in game. Just enter it and you have to type the same value for the down one. And you just click to apply. This program can be used by everyone, not just NVIDIA users. Ahem. <coughs> 
and blood man the next one and the important one is minify minify is an edit tool that gives you a good optimization you can just download it from the description and here we have some option that we can turn on or off auto accept match fuck it we don't need it dark strain gives you some fps default menu background gonna remove the shitty background of dota 2 which is so useful the important one is misc optimization just turn it on and use it this to remove the additional option in game just turn the removes to on to get more fps what the fuck what is cyan mode cyan mode just change the sound effects like room level up and blink fuck the cyan mode you don't need it okay the next one tree mod makes the trees to a ball which contains some fps i don't know it, you can turn it on if you like it after you select the options you just come and click to patch and minify automatically will install the mods on your game down yeah maybe it's complete if somehow you don't like the mods you come here and click to uninstall don't remove mods your system is sucks. The next one is a common prompt shortcut, which is created by someone named Stress. You can download it from a Stress website. You open up the rar file and extract this to local disk C. The password is Stress207, and it will reveal here. We got the bad part. Click right, properties, in security, you come to edit, give the full control of your system to the bad file. Click OK and here we go. Now you have to copy this, come to desktop, right click and paste shortcut. Now if you run this shit, it will stop everything that is not related to games or Dota 2, which means you can use your browser, Adobe programs, or like music player. To get this off, just restart your computer and everything will disappear. <laughs> this was the whole tutorial of boosting performance. I will be happy if you support me with like and subscribe. Good luck.